Hey everybody, uh, welcome back. Northern Lion. I was gonna say Community Remix, but it's not, it's Challenges. It's gonna be the Waka Waka Challenge, I gotta be honest with you. I've been looking forward to this one for a long time. I'm worried that when I write down Waka Waka, I'm gonna think that's the seed. Because it is eight characters. Anyway, Waka Waka, let's do it. I'm ready, you're ready. We have Magnetic Tears. And anti-grav tiers, okay. Zero M H W T M L F. So I'm assuming that we pretty much uh, fire a tier. And then enemies get sucked into it from afar? This strikes me as a, a challenge that's actually fairly tricky. Will it end up actually being fairly tricky? I guess we'll see. Uh, one thing's for sure, I'm not gonna be uh, too interested in uh, shooting all the fire because it's gonna take a hundred years oh yeah okay I get why it's called Waka Waka it took me a second I was like I thought that Waka Waka would give you a uh, game kit because it's like the Pac-Man item right Waka Waka is the Pac-Man sound but I get it it's because when you like walk backwards here it kind of looks like you're putting like Pac-Man's power pellets there behind you interesting and I guess if we just walk backwards that actually gives us a pretty good uh, kind of strategy for dealing with these enemies I'll use a bomb. I think that'll get it. I think that's as close as we're gonna come on one bomb anyway. Yeah, we'll take our spirit heart and move out. Okay, I get it. It's interesting. Uh, I think this run is, immediately for me, a little bit better because it seems less powerful than the ones that come before it. I'm no huge fan of anti-grav tears, but I am a fan of, uh, of items that make your life uh, a little weirder. That's, that's what I've gone on record as saying is kind of like my, uh, my M.O. in Rebirth is, if an item makes my life weirder, I have a tendency to like it. Uh, so I, I'll get down with all those weird synergies. Ludovico technique, you know, uh, anti-grav tears, tiny planet, I don't give a shit, as long as it's funny. Fighting Dingle with anti-grav tears is annoying as shit, by the way. Um, but uh, as long as it makes life weirder, I like it. And that's what I respect, even about the easy challenges. Um, is, they all have a, a little bit of a commitment to weirdness. And this should do it right here. If I was doing this fight over again, I would absolutely just not attack Dingle um, when he's charging. Placenta is a really good item on a, a run where you might expect to be taking a little bit of damage from enemies uh, just kind of walking into you as a result of your own idiocy. As with all runs, if we only have to beat Mom, I think we've got a pretty good chance. Envy seems like, you know, your worst fucking nightmare. If we had more damage, that would make me feel a lot better about this run because... If, if we had, like, Polyphemus, for example, that's obviously, like, a best-case scenario. Uh, but if we had Polyphemus, and as soon as enemies touched one of these bullets, they fucking exploded, that would, uh, that would be nice. But we can, we can get that through other items. We don't necessarily need Polyphemus. Like, this is a, <laughs> this is a nightmare right here. Uh, this one could be interesting. Okay. I like it. I got a smile on my face. I'm not just going through the motions here. And, uh, you know, it, it strikes me as the kind of run that's we're going to have to maybe use a little bit of ingenuity on. I'm almost dead already. Now, I would like to keep my nearly perfect record on these challenges alive. Is that going to happen? I don't know. Uh, it's been a little tricky thus far. The little envies look so much like my bullets. Loosen up my bullets, baby. But they keep... F well, fronting doesn't really rhyme with bullets. That was... It might not have looked like it. That was a clutch effing dodge, though. Clutch effing dodge. He's a uh, he's a traitor from the Baltic, back in the Middle Ages. You know what? I don't like shoot the whoop. I think shoot the whoop was a bad item. Thank God we didn't go to our um, we didn't go to our curse room. I might actually be dead right now. Be dead. Be dead. I'm not going to continue with the singing. I probably will, but I would prefer not to. But, you know, that's just my favorite Herman Melville quote. Is Bartleby the Scrivener by Herman Mel? I don't know. It's been a while since I was in freshman year English class. Um, fuck that room. I'll tell you that much. I'm trying to think about what the, the easiest outs here are for us. Um... Oh, snap! We got ganked there. I'll tell you what, I'm just going to restart here. I don't think you guys care about the seeds that much on these runs, so I'm just going to put this up here. B6E4VMXS. I lost. There you go. 
There's my second loss, and it was on the Waka Waka challenge. One that I'd heard was uh, interesting, but not necessarily super tricky. And that's, you know, I chalked that one up to my own idiocy, but also envy. That envy, uh, that envy get was, uh, very bad luck on our part. Did we accidentally get this guy trapped in the freaking rocks? How does that work out? So we'll try to redeem ourselves here. Maybe we will, maybe we won't, but uh, it's not like we were very far into the episode, so... I don't think like we've missed out too much. What can I do differently? I guess if you fight Envy, just bomb your way out of the room. Get the hell out of there! Alright, anti-grav tears, let's do this. You got a fucking friend in me. Randy Newman. We're gonna get all Randy Newman up in this shit. Seriously though, please. Come, thank you. Um, we're definitely gonna... I wonder if we can put a bomb down in a position that would actually get both of these. I don't think we can. Let's just play it simple. We do have th a lot of surplus bombs here, but... Um, I really doubt we'd find like a second secret room here, but let's give it a try. You know, uh, why even use a second bomb just to get a bomb? I guess it was still a good idea because there could be a... Um, like a uh, black market or something there. I, this is actually one of the more uh, ingenious challenges in terms of naming, now that I actually get the joke. And I really want to beat this one because it has one of the best rewards as well. This is the one that gives you the um, those scythes that everybody is like, Oh shoot, I picked up a $3 bill and then this happened, and it's always the picture of the scythes. I agree, I, I want that shit in my item pool so I can get those fat ass synergies. That was really bad uh, damage on my part. We haven't had that opportunity yet, hopefully we uh, we do. Pageant boy is not what I was looking for. I would be more happy if there were a dime or a nickel. You might say, I need a dime that's top of the line. I wouldn't say that, because I'm happily married. But you can say whatever you want. Now on a run where I very recently died from not having HP, am I really gonna play the blood bank? The answer to that question is yes, and the reasoning behind it is, I'm an idiot. But I think being an idiot sometimes makes these runs a little bit more exciting. They're more variable, if you know what I mean. You know, they're not just your standard one variable X bullshit, you know? I got X, Y, Z's, ABC's, Thetas. All sorts of wild shenanigans getting up in here. That is absolutely unlikely to be worth it. Mmm, this on the other hand. This has some potential. I'm gonna put it here so we hopefully get the TNT in the crossfire. We did not. On the bright side, we can just get the hell away from that. Yeah, now we have more than enough money to make our shop worthwhile. No question about that. And, um... Oh, crap. Don't be an idiot. I'm... I was an idiot. Super idiot. Oh, my God. I, I should be... I should be dead, probably. Be smart. There's a shop right there. Just use a bomb. The... These guys need to die in one hit. Otherwise, I... I have a real problem. One more hit, come on. There we go. Please live. Yes. And yes. And Fanny Pack could end up helping us out more than BFF, I think. And if we could just snag a deal with the devil here, all of our um all of our disasters could be, you know, well behind us. But this does strike me as one of the more difficult challenges, no question about it, because it's an entirely different playstyle, which is the challenges that I prefer for the most part, but, you know, we've really gotta, we gotta keep vigilant here. That was way more money than I expected from that, I didn't expect any money, necessarily. Especially these enemies that are really, really light, ooh, maybe a little bit of money there? These enemies that are really, really light are the most annoying, because they just get tossed around. Widow doesn't strike me as too bad, though. You know, if it doesn't jump, it'll just slide on the ground and, you know, get hit by multiple bullets. It'll jump into, like, six bullets every time it jumps. The spiders are going to be annoying as hell, but we'll have a very real uh, deal with the devil chance here, or at least we should. Maybe the proper way is actually just to not actually fire, you know? We'll just actually walk them into all of our bullets. Old bandage, I'm very happy to have. Along with fanny pack, gives us a great return on investment when we get hit. And you know what? I will, uh, I'll pay one HP for Book of Sin. I don't expect this to be a great item for us, but we have no other item. Why not, you know? Book of Sin could, uh, give us spirit hearts when we need him. Curse of the Unknown. We can't see our HP. That is effing terrifying. But, we're still early enough that I'm not really overly concerned. Although this is, uh, you know, later than we died the first time. 
The other reason, of course, to take Book of Sin is so that we keep our deal with the Devil precedent up. Um, which I probably, I overstate the value of that to some extent, but I think it's worth having uh, a precedent with Deal with the Devil so that we can... Come on, pop up. I need you to pop up, otherwise you're never gonna pop up with this shit. Oh, come on, pop up, you dick fucker. There we go. Um, but I, I like a I like a deal with the devil precedent. Gives us a good uh, idea of what we can expect. You know, we know our deal with the devil items. I don't know if we get brimstone or something, we might just completely break the run. If I do know that it's not because I want to break the run, you know, I, I don't know how anti grav tears synergizes with brimstone. All right, that's not a great item. No, great, not a great pill, I should say. Um, get the fuck out. Get the fuck out of here. I almost think, like, piercing shots would be really amazing as well. Like, imagine we drag the enemy in, and we drag in, like, a whole host of enemies, but they don't actually break the tiers as they go through. So, you know, Polyphemus or something, that could be great as well. Okay, um, tell you what, we're gonna wait till these bombs are oh, pretty far away. Yeah, that was really dumb, but they'll all explode, so I don't feel too bad about it, at least. This guy should have no chance. What a strange challenge. People are very strange these days. I do wish that I could see how much HP I have at the very least. Oh well, I suppose in the whole scheme of things, knowing when you're going to die is a... That's a, that's a real privilege. So we should uh, just understand that this is, uh, is going to be how it is. Wait, what the heck are we fighting here? A bunch of these jerk-offs. Now, okay. Maybe one more. Perfect time for you to pop up. Thank you very much. Do we need this? Do we need this? I'm glad we don't need that. I really would love to earn a deal with the devil here. Um, we're going to have some problems. I really hope that our... Oh, no. <laughs> I really hope that our magnets do not attract the bombs. If our magnets attract the bombs, we got real issues. This also seems like the kind of... Uh, Ooh, 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 ooh. Seems like the kind of fight where, like, mobility is a real problem. Oh my god, did you see that effing dodge? Uh, and when mobility is a real problem, you know, the, the fact that enemies are going to get all up in our grill here is not something I'm going to relish. But we'll just have to catch up and cut the mustard. <laughs> Seriously, though, condiment related shenanigans aside. Oh, didn't take damage still. Oh, come on. Well, our black card's gone. No deal with the devil. And we got an orbital. Honestly, I don't think that's so super bad here. I think the orbital's gonna be nice. I'm going down to the next floor. Curse of the Unknown pisses me off, and we're probably not gonna get enough money to make use of our, uh, of our shenanigans anyway. Of our shop, I meant to say, but shenanigans sounds nicer, I guess. Doesn't really make any sense. So this is one of those rare challenges that, uh, Oh, come on. As of right now, oh, that's actually going to be great. So people did tell me what Kane's Eye does. It uh, gives you a chance to have the compass effect when you enter a room. Or maybe when you enter a floor, I can't remember. But um, it's something similar to that. Uh, poison Touch is great because... Man, I'm, I'm starting to think like we set traps for enemies and then we just run away. I don't know, though. If our damage is, is strong enough to really justify that kind of course of action. We'll just use our orbitals here to avoid any excess risk. Um, but yeah, this is the rare run that is uh, certainly not set in stone by any stretch of the imagination yet. We uh, we got some problems here on this run. And I don't necessarily think we're very close to figuring out solutions unless we can get a very, very nice deal with the devil of some sort. Now we do... Oh, fuck that. Uh, we do have Old Bandage. Old Bandage combined with Fanny Pack should allow us to get a lot of consumables here. Especially when there's already Red Hearts on the ground. Of course, you know, it's fairly obvious that I'm hoping for uh, uh, the Blood Bag to show up. I really have to be a little bit... Yeah, that was dumb. I really have to be a little bit more careful about playing blood banks. I'm not used to having to be so vigilant, but you know, it's the truth. We gotta be very, very cautious. I'm using my orbital to do most of my damage. I'm kind of playing this almost as if it's like a cat's got your tongue run or something like that. Can't get enough of that sugar cruise. Don't know why that popped into mind. That spirit heart 
pretty clutch right now. Yeah, okay. You know, I don't relish the thought of uh, having to fight so many bosses. I was really hoping that was going to be a teleporting pill. But to be honest with you, Tears Up might be more beneficial in the long run. But who gives a shit about the long run if we're not going to live that long? Hoping that we can, yeah, take out that nub well in advance here. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? What am I thinking? That was really dumb. Uh, if we get hit once more, we're taking two of hearts. Charge me. Oh, there was a nub there? What the fuck? There's another nub right there. Oh my god, we got a spirit heart back for it. Don't get hit. Thank you, fanny pack, by the way. Was this room worth it? I don't know. Somehow we've managed to gain HP, despite the fact that we probably should be dying. So, as of right now, I'd say it's almost worth it. Who else do we have? Peep. Super small version of Peep. This should be great. Yeah, let's suck him in and get him to pee all over us. That's the sentence that I've learned from your mother. We can kind of keep them jammed against bombs with anti-grav tears, which is kind of cool. You know, drop a bomb and then kind of just keep them suctioned together. Limits their mobility a little bit. With only five bombs, we're not really going to be able to get that much use out of it right now, but... That's okay. Almost done. This peep fight's actually been pretty easy. We came out ahead here. But were it not for that two of hearts card, we'd probably be dead. Almost rhymed. Like I give a shit. Do I look like a poet to you? Not that I'm suggesting all poets have to fit some kind of ascribed image or anything like that. I don't know. The only image I know is sharper image. Bomb for a key. The bang, the bang, dicky. It's okay. Come on, though. Come on, though. Okay, one's dead. Yeah, that's exactly what I figured was going to effing happen there. Uh, blank card. So, I do think that blank card is a lot better for us. We will buy it. Now, admittedly, we don't have anything to use it with. But if we just get one good thing, then this run is basically... Uh, not one for us, but maybe much more set up for a potential win than we would otherwise be in the position to, to have. Gotta admit, our backwards walking technique is not the most amazing thing for these guys. Oh my god, come on. There we go. Whoa, okay. That's uh, definitely has like a synergistic benefit. Okay, there we go, there we go. We have a card over there. That could be two of hearts, could be the Joker, it could be two of clubs, could be two of spades, any of those. Even two of diamonds. Two of diamonds would be the worst, but any of those is so nice. I would... Probably my favorite would be... Ah, maybe the Joker. Even though I shit-talked that with Blank Card last episode. Um, the potential extra damage would be so nice. Two of clubs, I was going to say, is second best. Normally, I prefer two of spades, but in this situation, you know, we're not going to need that many keys. At least we can use the bombs for a more uh, offensive purchase or purpose, you know? Um, so we should be using that right away. So I've already used it once. And we should uh, pretty much be able to use bombs whenever we want now. We're going to have like a double pin fight here. That scares the shit out of me. I have no idea what to do here. I'll tell you what I am going to do is just mostly walk backwards. And uh, I'm going to try not to use any bombs, although I would like to here. I have a feeling this fight might take us 20 years. We might be dead. By the Like in real life, we might be dead by the time this run finishes. I think if you wanted to actually try to do this one as efficiently as possible, what you would probably do is actually be a little riskier and walk across the center. Because if you walk across the center, you might get them to, yeah, like double or triple back over the the actual uh, shots themselves. Well, at least Poison Touch will do some extra damage. Um, but this is at least a lot more palatable than just having them get hit by one shot every time. If we actually kind of walk back and forth across the center here, think a little bit more about the angles that the, the pin will take and, yeah, maybe guide him all the way along like he's a zipper or something like that. Like that, for example, although now, I don't think we've, now we've taken red hard damage. What the fuck? This is, well, it's annoying is what it is. That actually was fairly smart, okay. Um, I guess we're going down to the next floor. I know there's some HP that we could get, but 
let's just go. Um, we're going to be able to get a ton of bombs, and honestly, those bombs might end up becoming uh, my most valuable kind of piece of uh, piece of equipment here. I will use one bomb here. It doesn't take too many doublings for the numbers to get very, very high. Two doublings without picking up any extra bombs would already put us at like 24 bombs. Which is all right. Two more doublings after that would put us at 96. So really it's only gonna take like, maybe this floor. If we don't use bombs very prodigiously, we should still be able to get to uh, 99 bombs, or at least uh, the, the amount of bombs where we can fight every single room using bombs pretty shortly. I mean at some, ooh, I'm, gonna, uh, I'm not gonna use the bomb yet, but I'll use it after we uh, go to the next room, because that tarot card could be even better, even if it's not, it's probably worth playing, you know? That was pretty good, I guess. Yeah, I'll play you uh, three times. Alright. That's fair. Know your limit, play within it. Well, we can fairly easily deal with these uh, gentle folk right here. Bombs? Eh, red hearts. Those are useful too. So we'll double our bombs and then we'll you know I, know, I know that this slows us down, but it slows down our doubling, I mean to say, but we'll put a bomb here and maybe pick this up, see what it is. High Priestess. That might be uh, better. So we'll take two of clubs and we'll double it again. That at least took us to 22 bombs. I can't express uh, enough thanks for that. But High Priestess being able to basically kill a boss, except for Mom, uh, so quickly is very useful. That was not great damage on my part. Come here, please. Thank you, thank you. Uh, mostly just looking out for shop and, and boss room. This is gonna be interesting. I, I don't think right now that we're a guaranteed kill against Mom, and that's a that's been a rarity on these challenge runs so far. The Mom fight is gonna be, by my estimation, exceptionally difficult. Poison Touch, our orbital, like these are huge gets for us here. But, uh... Even having 22 bombs is a pretty huge get, but man, this is a, it's a tricky run, that's for sure. We could just leave and not have to fight this guy, but we could also just, like, fight this guy. Good practice, anyway. Um... Tell you what, I'm gonna buy, uh, I'm gonna buy a blue map. And I bought a key, not so much because we're gonna need to open anything. Please tell me, by the way, that we don't have to end up fighting, uh... Mom's hard on this one, because if so, we're in for a long and hard road. Uh, but I figured we'd play this guy two more times as a result of that key. And that, we got a spirit heart out of it, as well as some bombs back in return. It's not so bad. I almost just used our High Priestess card. Suffice it to say, I would have felt pretty terrible about that. That was just the worst. But sometimes when we take damage, we actually do a little bit better as a result. As you can see, we actually... Picked up uh, some extra keys there. Sorry, right, we're saving one key for obvious reasons. I know we have High Priestess available, by the way. If possible, I would prefer to save it for a room that actually has some combat. Being able to use it once every four rooms is actually pretty good. You know, if I were to balance a, uh, a High Priestess item, that's probably exactly how I would balance it, is being able to use like Mom's Foot once every th uh, four rooms. That would put it on par with items like, um... Well, I'm trying to think. Like Book of Belial? It would, it would be relatively on par with Book of Belial, I think. Well, we can't get that, unfortunately. And there's no real reason to use High Priestess on this room. I can't believe that this did not work. Kind of counterintuitive. There we go. That should be it. We got a second secret room. I mean, I feel bad because we really should be using High Priestess, but we also have absolutely no need to. So maybe at this point we'll just save it for our boss fight. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is going to be annoying. A-N-O-Y-N-G. Annoying. I'm real annoyed right now. Uh, with 19 bombs, sure, we will go to our second secret room. An Eternal Heart wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Actually snag some HP instead of just losing it. What kind of crazy mixed up world is this? That was not very good. What do you think the over-under is on that heart actually staying alive through this entire run? Eh, probably not super good. Alright, war. 
We still got a, a long way to go here. But we could get a deal with the devil, and I don't really care whether we get uh, another orbital or a, a second level bandage. Either one of those is actually like a pretty nice upgrade, I think. We are going to get a... Oh, we got an old bandage. No, it's a ball of bandage. I'm, I'm an idiot. I'm, the orbital's nice because we can actually, you know, do some damage to enemies now. Um, but I would have liked a second one as well, just so that we were a little bit more properly covered. This floor really is the moment of truth. It's going to be very, very interesting to see if we're capable of... Of, uh, A, even getting to Mom, but B, uh, beating Mom. I, I'm not saying I would be surprised if we won, but I certainly think that compared to most of the other challenges that we've done, this is maybe the most crap, crap shoot we've had. Now, for two bombs, we can access our boss trap room. I will do so. Just to see. Just to see if there's something inside. I don't know about that one. The, on on most situations, or in most situations, I would probably say, fuck yeah, dog, go for it. You know? You only live once. Etc, etc. However, the boss trap room is really going to take a lot out of us. Like, maybe if we do it with High Priestess, it wouldn't be so bad, but I don't know. I don't know, I think I'm going to avoid it. I think we've really just, we've got to play as if the mom fight is the end of the world for us, basically. I like it, I love it, I want some more of it. What the heck? He broke the laws of physics there. I don't appreciate that affront to scientific method. Oh, Jesus. Okay. This is okay, it's okay. This thing should be, should be dead soon. Uh, with this many bombs. Sure, let's look for tarot cards. Eh? Ooh, and... Uh, it's not really worth it. High Priest is still better for us. Shops over here. Two keys. It seems like a... Uh, we could have used Hanged Man, but... It's the kind of thing that's pretty unlikely to make a difference. We actually got more keys back than we spent anyway. Now, it doesn't really matter if we have High Priestess ready for Mom, so... Even though I, I think our math is actually going to work out like perfectly for that. What are we going to do against Mom? I have no idea. I guess we're going to sit in the center of the map and we're going to fire in all directions. So that when we release it, you know, we might as well buy this. I think we might as well buy this. We might as well buy this. I don't really give a shit about BOGO bombs right now. But I figured we'd buy that just so that we could go like, hey, fuck all y'all. Oh, we still got touched. That's okay. All right, um, yeah, this this is gonna be interesting. I don't know if we can get a better card than High Priestess. I would, uh, I would welcome it because people gotta know whether or not their president is a crook. Oh, I am not a crook. Come on, come on though. With the freaking, I mean, we're not gonna use thirteen bombs against regular mom. You gotta be effing me with this nonsensical nonsense here. I mean, there's no point in taking High Priestess in, but who gives a shit about taking in, uh... You know, the Hanged Man. I, that's not gonna help us against Mom. She doesn't even have any enemies to generate creep. Let's do this shit, Mom. I'm ready. What's my... What's my hypothesis on this one? Um... I don't, I don't think we have a great chance, to be honest with you. I think we we could do it. I'm not trying to sandbag. Uh, I think we could do it. I think it's a, not unlikely, especially with things like you know old bandage. But um, I don't think it's going to be. I think we're in an unlikely position. So I'm I'm actually trying to like get orbitals in there, see if we can do it. Oh man, like our orbital actually. Maybe we should just use orbitals. This is uh, shaping up to be a pretty bad idea. This is not a throw, by the way. Oh, we're dead. Man, that is uh, that is tough. Waka Waka has it's made me tap out. I'll be back tomorrow with, uh, I think it's the family man. But for now, I'm going to go take a long, hard look at myself in the mirror. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that run. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.